silver bayonet again. This time, I've got a middle-aged man and a video about basing. We're going to get through this without the usual bass puns. I like the bass, all about the bass, addicted to bass. Are you going to get through without any of that nonsense? Are we flockers like? <laughs> Already on the channel, there have been a few updates for the Silver Bayonet, all of which have been in this state with an incomplete base. So, uh, and these two models are a good example why. Uh, they've got big skirts or a big monastic robe in the middle, so it kind of stops me using massive tufts. So, I wanted to go a small tuft approach. Other examples are. These will be coming to the channel at some point. Some uh, of a couple of vampires from Reaper miniatures there, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to go with small tufts. And I thought, well, can I just go with that traditional flock as well? So, what I did was knock up some, just some plain bases. So a couple of MDF bases, base them as usual, paint them up as usual. Hopefully, uh, I'll have the good sense to edit in a picture of those. I didn't film it; I just took a picture at the time. And here they are. Let's uh, move stuff down a little and get these into the centre. So, firstly, the uh, the dark green sort of just it's just flock that's um, coarse turf from Woodland Scenics. I quite like that. I don't want, I don't want it to be too lush in Spain. I know there is green bits of Spain. I've been to them. But I don't want to be too lush, I want to be kind of arid looking, have a bit of the uh, deserty texture poking through. And these have got very, very small tufts on them. Uh, to the point where they've got a bit lost, the only ones I can really make out are the bright green ones. And I've got literally a tiny strip of those, they're a little sample put in with the uh, brown and yellow ones. So as a compromise, something a little bigger. And I'm probably going to go with kind of a mix of the two, the tiny tufts and the merely small. Let's fast forward to the future when I've actually created some of these. And here we are in the future, so there's still no flying cars or anything like that, but I've got some goblins with some bases. And uh, I started with these, I think, because they're sort of the lowest value figures, really. Uh, you know, I'm not super excited by the uh, paint job I did on them. Oh, one of them's back to front, showing his ass. Um, yeah, I was not too bothered about these. It's just a nice uh, nice way. If I sort of don't do, it, don't do a great job, it's not the end of the world. But, yeah, it's, it looks nice. It's a bit of a, a wash with green, maybe. But uh, we've got the different textures, the different colours on there. It's not a bad job. And the second batch really is the uh, zombies. I'm quite pleased with these. With um, you know, not being the mass of green on green like they were, uh, it just somehow the different textures, different colours sort of stand out. Even to the point you know, where I was actually quite like. I think there's just a bit more framing for the figures for the uh, the ones I thought were maybe not quite right. So that leaves a couple of batches, the uh, Bandit slash Gideas and the player characters. Both of those there is at least one other batch of minis to go, so as I finish the new batch of minis I'll base up everything and then uh, just show them on the channel with the new batch. Am I overthinking this? Possibly. Do I overthink most things? Also possibly. We reach that point in the video again where I say that I'm rambling and decide to bugger off. Thank you very much for watching, if you're uh, still awake. I'll be back with some freshly painted miniatures quite soon, I'm sure. Thanks very much now. Catch you soon. Toronto. <laughs>